Welcome back to another video. Um, it's only a short, quick one about saying that it isn't it isn't a modification of any sort. It's just a little video on a cheap OBD2 reader that I bought because my engine management light came on, and it works really well. So we're just going to go through that, show you how it works, where the OBD port is in the EP3, blah blah blah, what one I got, all that good stuff. But first. Let's have a story. So this wasn't meant to be going up today. This wasn't even meant to be recorded. This ain't a video, but we need to put a video up. So I don't know if you can see with Baz over there. We was meant to be doing his braided brake lines today, but he hasn't got the correct tools. Ah, oh, all he's got is a 10 mil spanner, whereas we need a 10 mil flare nut spanner. So it goes around in like uh, six points, I think it is. Whereas we've only got the standard ones, which are like four points. And it was just three. Three, three points. Right. And it was just it was just like slipping off of the brake line connection nut. So, oh, my arm aches. So that weren't happening. We were just going to round them off and molest them right up. So today didn't go very well. And hence why I'm recording this video, which no one cares about. But, if you need a cheap OBD2 reader, this is the video you need to watch. So yeah. So this is the OBD2 reader I've got. It's called a pumpkin pie or some shit like that. It was like 12 pound off Amazon. And it works good as gold. I'll put a link to the description in the, in, I'll put a link to the, vid, to the reader I got in the description below. Because I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called right now, but it's pumpkin something. So yeah, so. There she is. She's still there. So let's plug it in, connect it up to the app, and have a butcher's of what it says. Oh yeah, I took my red mat out because I didn't want to get it dirty. So there's a red mat in that one with my college bag and some shit. But no, no, no matter. So the OBD D2 reader port is here, literally. Steering wheel there, just down there by the centre column. And then plug the reader in, and then lights will come on. So that's now on, in and working. So yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't pay that much attention to the interior of my car. Like, I don't do much to it, it's such a mess. I've got a half, half carbon skin wrap on my centre console. I just start jobs in it and I'm, I don't know, I can't be asked to finish them. With the outside, yeah, that's the bit that everyone sees like, but the inside is just kind of like me. And yeah, I don't know. Eventually I'm gonna be putting a lot of effort into it, but when the outside still looks like that and the engine bay looks like that, God, this is like the least important bit, so. Leave me alone on that. Let's get it connected up and see what the engine management light's about then. Oh, yeah, just another little tip. This, the OBD2 readers have have to be Wi-Fi on iPhones. Because it's a less, oh, it's something to do with the Bluetooth type in these to the um, OBD. So they work on Android phones, but not iPhones. So yeah, straight away connected, Wi-Fi OBD2. So let's just go off that, go into there. Oh, I've got to download it. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh yeah, AutoDock. AutoDock's a pretty good app for car parts. It's cheap and it's like, yeah, it's just cheap bits, cheap like OEM bits. So if you're in a pickle and you need something cheap, download you that. You have to ignore my voice as well. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's really croaky. I've got a bit of a sore throat, so. Oh, why does it take? Oh, I know. Uh, I've got to disconnect from the wire. Because it has to like, update or something. 
Um, you've got to select what car you want. So I've, I've been testing my girlfriend's car, which is a Mini Cooper. Uh, Honda Civic, I put all my details in. Uh, yeah, I've got Paul's car on there as well. So you just go connect. I could just screen record this so it's in a better bit of better quality. But if I screen recorded it, you wouldn't have my voice unless I voiced over it. And I hate voiceovers. There we go, car selection, 2004 Honda Civic. Engine coolant temperature, 20 degrees C. Blah, blah, blah. Um, diagnostic trouble codes. There we go. That engine management light is up because catalyst system efficiency below threshold. So let's go clear. Do you really want to clear? Oh, it's gone. Result, but on this, there's so many more things you can do. Um, what is it? General information? No. Dynamic parameters. Yeah, look at all of this. Fuel economy. Uh, intake air temperatures, throttle position, blah blah. blah. You can ch you can record your speed on it. Engine RPMs. So if I just start it up, the app, this app, and the pumpkin OBD is good. That's, that's, this is a free version, you can buy the pro version, but I don't really know what you get with that, I don't really care. But, yeah. What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, maybe my car's not on. Oh, there we go, now it's off, NA. Uh. So, yeah. Just a quick little video. I have no trouble codes. I know. So yeah, just a quick little video showing that you the cheap OBD readers do work pretty well to be fair. Instead of like going to a garage that charges you like what, 40 quid? Nah, 40 quid. At least a tenner to scan and clear your car once. Whereas you can just do this, you plug it into any car you want as many times as you want, just read it, read if there's any issues with it, and you can just track your data and everything with them. So yeah, I like it. It was a good little purchase here. I'll put the link to the one I got in the description. I think it was of Amazon. I can't really remember, but yeah. Just a shit little video, just to get content out really. Better videos coming, don't you worry. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Taters. I've got a very exciting package. So it's another delivery from Tactical Racing. Fresh, fresh fuel rail. I like it a lot.